Hi guys, welcome back to Inspector's Gadget Part 2. This is the biggins. The last video I had quite a lot. I don't have as many bigger gadgets. And when I say bigger, I mean it's not just hold it in one hand. But the ones I do have are ones I use all the time and they're my favorites. Before we get rolling along here, I want to clear up a couple of things from the last Inspectress Gadget, the Littles video. I got a couple of comments and I want to make sure that you know that yes, I do use this stuff. The Littles video though, those as needed, you know, if I feel like using one of them here and there. I was just basically showing you all of my gadgets, but this video, this video contains stuff that gets used on the regular. What my skin is telling me determines whether or not I'm going to use something. And I don't use two kinds of things together, which we'll go over in just a little bit. The second thing is, yes, I do make money on trophy skin things. If you use my links below, you buy the trophy skin products, I will make a commission on them. And that's it. <laughs> the other things I'm going to show you in here, I don't make a commission on that. In fact, I don't think I get anything if you buy that, but I do have some codes for you. All right, this gadget that I have in my lap, I use every day. Every single morning I use this thing. I love it. This is it. I showed you guys before in a favorites video. <laughs> and it was in the favorites video because it's a favorite. I use it all the time. We have discussed red light therapy before and red light therapy helps you to have collagen production and it gets rid of fine lines and wrinkles over time. Okay, it's not going to be immediate. None of this stuff is, you know, wow, I did it and look at me now. It's not going to be like that. You're going to have to continually use stuff gadgets of all kinds. You got to keep going. Even my very favorite one, you got to keep going. If you don't, then <laughs> sorry about your luck. <laughs> it's just not going to work. That's the way it is. This mask though, I had been looking at these. Several companies had approached me and they wanted me to do a video and send me a mask, but it wasn't what I wanted. It was, this is the one that I wanted. And then one day, this guy, Bill, hello, Bill from Lift Care, he wrote me and said, hey, do you want to try this product? It's got seven colors of light. All of the lights do different things. I basically stick with three, okay? So I, I don't even bother to undo this and wrap it up. I get it out every morning. I plug it in. I stick this part here into the bottom of this mask, and then I lay down on my bed like so. And I watch my YouTube videos of the morning. So that's what I'm doing every single morning with this thing on. I do 10 minutes every single morning with the red light therapy. And then I switch to five minutes with the green, which is for hyperpigmentation. And then if I have breakouts, I will switch to blue instead of green. But I want you to notice on the back of this mask that there are these cushions, okay? They're like silicone right here and it protects your eyes. Well, because it's doing that, it's also blocking the light from getting to your eyes. So you can actually lay there and watch TV or whatever, and you're good to go. But because of this silicone here, I don't feel like it gets my eyes. And that's where in the last video, I was telling you about this from Trophy Skin. It's their Brighton MD wand. And remember I was showing you, I've showed you a few times how I would do this. See, this is on, it's red light. And I do that around my eyes and my neck because this is just getting my face. So I don't have to do my entire face with this because I have this mask and I really like it. Now I've heard a lot of people say that they use like serums or an oil or whatever and then they put this on. But no, I use dry, clean skin because you guys know I had an accident with the trophy skin one, right? Where I put cacai oil, which is like a, a retinol on my neck and then sat there doing red light, watching TV like an idiot. And I burned myself. So I just don't even want to think about it. I just wash my face and get this, all right? And then after that, I do something else. But before I show you what that is, I want to show you what I don't like from Trophy Skin. This heavy thing is the Rejuvalite MD from Trophy Skin. Now, there's nothing wrong with this product. It's me. I love this and I love this because both of these things have something in common. Can you guess what it is? You probably know if you've been around here for a while. 
I can continue to watch TV or whatever I do to distract myself from how much time I'm spending doing this stuff because I don't want you to ever think that this isn't a time commitment. If you're a gadget person, you know this. If you're not a gadget person, let me tell you, before you ever dive into stuff like this, it's time consuming. So not only is it costly, it's time consuming. So if you're gonna put out the cashola for a device, it's probably gonna cost you at least a hundred bucks, all right? And so you wanna make sure that you're actually going to use it. This is Trophy Skin's main red light therapy. Now I say that because this is supposed to be a touch up for them. This is just a quick, you know, touching up, um, you know, in the morning, you know, just kind of, you know, before you put on your makeup, whatever. That's what they made Brighton MD for. This is their workhorse red light therapy. The reason that I don't like this is because of the way it's made. See this? This is a heavy base. And the only way that you can use this is to either lay down and like lay under it with goggles, or you could set it in your lap and like put it upright, okay, and then use it. And I think it goes for 10 minutes and there's goggles inside and all that jazz. I can't do that. I cannot lay still for 10 minutes. I could never lay still in the tanning bed either. And when I would go into the tanning booth, I would be like, oh my gosh, I just can't stand it rolling around, you know, doing all this stuff in the tanning booth, dancing in the tanning booth and stuff. I just can't, I can't do it. That's what's wrong with this product. That's what I don't like, is that I can't like that mask. I can't just slap it on my face and do something else. I have to lay still. I need to be watching my YouTube friends while I'm doing my skincare. <laughs> now, depending on whether or not I've got a breakout or not, I've got a zit right here and up here on my forehead. And both of them are at a head. About 14 hours ago, I did this to my skin, okay? So I fully expect when I take off my makeup, and maybe I'll even do that once I'm done filming. I'll just take it off, because I do want to film something, a demo on something. Uh, maybe I'll just take off my makeup and let you see where this is after 14 hours. But the thing that I'm talking about was also sent to me by Lift Care, and it is the Lift Wand. Now, you remember I told you about the lift bar? Um, this is the lift wand. This is like a professional tool. And if you follow Penny from Penn Smith Skincare, you know she's a master esthetician. And she bought this for herself, this very one, because I asked her. Regardless of what some people may think, I kind of like my skin. And I don't want to just do things that, you know, especially things that are like cattle prods on my face. This did not seem like a good idea to me. <laughs> So I checked it out with Penny first. Now, of course, Penny's not a doctor, or dermatologist, but she knows quite a lot. And she gives this a thumbs up. And I checked it out with her. I said, is this the one that you got? She said, yes, it is. It's called the Lift Wand. It says, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, clears acne and shrinks pores, tightens skin and diminishes eye bags. And I don't know if it does any of that or not. And I'm probably not gonna know whether it does any of that or not, because I use this for one thing. That's it just one thing. I have things that I love and use for these other things. One of those things is that red light mask that they sent me. And I don't want to overdo my skin. So I advise you not to overdo your skin either. Pick like one or two things. And as Penny always says, figure out what it is that you're trying to do. Okay? And then find devices that do that. Right? Don't just buy every gadget that somebody shows you. Uh, so this here, I don't need this to reduce my fine lines and wrinkles. I don't need it to tighten my skin because I'm using other things to do that. And I don't want to overdo my face. But what I'm using it for is to clear acne and shrink pores. I've been having a really hard time lately and you guys don't know that. There's something that I'm doing. I had 14, 14 breakouts on my face. That may not seem like a lot to some people, but until that, I probably had 14 zits my whole life. I'm just not the person who breaks out with a bunch of pimples. And you guys, if you've been watching and seeing me without my makeup, you've been seeing that I've been having some breakouts lately. This is how I'm taking care of breakouts. They sent this to me, and then what I did was I first used it on my son. It just so happened that he had a huge red you know those kind that hurt, those pimples that you like touch clear out here and it hurts right there? 
he had a huge zip coming up on the end of his nose and we like zapped it with this thing. <laughs> he works nights. So when he got up, it was at a head. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what I use the lift wand for. Let me show you what's inside. These two things are not included, okay? But I asked Bill to send them to me because I wanted to try them out. Um, I was going to do this on my arms, okay? Because my face is constantly being used for other devices. And I don't feel comfortable coming to you guys and going, oh, this thing cleared up my fine lines and wrinkles when I know that I'm using something else that does that very same thing. So I don't want to do that. And I asked him to send me these two. And I did use them on my arms and my leg on one side of my body for about a week. And then it was, it was just too much of a hassle. Because of all of the things that I do, I just, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bill. If I have this device out, I will go ahead and pop this on here and do my neck. What these are, are tubes, okay? They're tubes filled with gas. Uh, I know one of the gases is argon. So like one is red, one is blue, and they do two different things. Uh, all of the ones I have, I think, have argon, if that's the red one. The only one that doesn't is this one. See, it's like a hook, and it's a zapper. <laughs> Basically, that's what I'm going to call it. It's a zit zapper. <laughs> what you do is you stick one of these down inside this handheld electrode and then you use it on your face. So I use this on pimples. If I got a pimple coming on, I get this thing out and I zap it. One of the selling points as far as Penny was concerned was this, that it had a three prong plug because you got less chance of shocking yourself and that's what you're kind of doing with this thing. You're putting in one of these things, okay? And you're pushing down and then you turn it on here on the base and I suggest you go low and I don't have it plugged in so you can't see it. But you know, then you move it across your skin and I got these. So she was talking about these that they use in the office and so I got a bunch of these because I actually do, if I'm gonna use all of this, I do lay down and do this on myself with this. So I just put this over my face, okay? And the gauze helps create more oxygen um, as you come over your face. This looks really funny, doesn't it? Again, this device is something that people recommend that you can use like oh, a serum or whatever. Not me. <laughs> I just don't but I do take this if I'm not laying down and I will put this gauze over it like so and use it like that but the idea and what's going on here is it's killing bacteria in your face that's why the zit zapper thing works if I've done microdermabrasion then I will go ahead and come over my face lightly with this just to kind of make sure that I'm killing any bacteria and I don't want an infection but you know pretty much that's all I use this for. And Bill did give me a um, code for you guys to use to save money. If you want to buy these things from them, I'll link those up for you. I don't get anything if you do this. Now this could almost fit in the handhelds and goes with the handhelds. I use this with my LaBelle, my ultrasonic scraper, and I'll link that video hopefully somewhere so that you can see what I'm talking about. This is my steamer. And I got this idea from watching somebody do a video and talk about Dr. Dennis Gross's one and this. I went looking for a duplicate and this fit the bill. So it works exactly the same. I take this out, unscrew this. I put purified water in there, fill it up. Then you take and you just set it back down like this, plug it in turn it up like this and steam comes out. Before I use my ultrasonic scraper, that's what I do. I steam my face, get all my pores all opened up and you guys know how a steamer works. This one's mine. So I've got my pores all open. Then I come in and I use my LaBelle with purified water and yeah, helps me get them pores cleaned out. If there's a gadget that I'm known for and the one that you would think of me with, it's gonna be this. My microdermabrasion machine from Trophy Skin. This is what set it all off, was this machine. I love this machine. This is my second one of these. This is called the Microderm MD. And the way this works is you put a little wool pad right here, 
And then you've got these heads that I've got in here, diamond heads. Comes in a clamshell thing like this. And over on this side, we've got, well, it doesn't come with like three of these. I've just got three. This is a diamond head. And then like your wool pads right there that go in this. And then you put the head on there. You always want to make sure you have a wool pad in there to catch the gunk, okay? And then when you turn this on, I have like two videos with this thing. What you do is you like follow the instructions. You can do it manual. I do it manual. <laughs> but you can follow the instructions until you actually know what you're doing. And you do your different regions, okay, with this. This is a diamond head. It's actual crushed up diamonds. And you know what that does? It scrapes your face off. This machine is why I still don't use Retin-A. I'm 58 years old. I don't need to do it because you know what Retin-A does? It exfoliates. It's the great exfoliator. That's what Retin-A does. If you're doing Retin-A and you're doing this, I would say be careful. At least wait, you know, 72 hours or something between them. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Not qualified to give you advice. Ask your doctor. <laughs> I guess the reason I chose to go this route is because it's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> it costs more up front, but you don't have to keep buying it. You have to keep buying Retin-A. This is what I've always done instead. One day my mom looked at me and she goes, what's on your face? <laughs> she thought it was dirt. <laughs> I honestly didn't know what it was. This is before YouTube. This is before, I mean, I'd never paid attention to my skin at all. And I just, one day it was there. And I did not know what it was. And all I knew was nothing covered it. It would shine through every concealer I tried. There was nothing I could do to cover it. I actually got these glasses. People think these are new glasses. These aren't. These glasses are about 15 years old. Okay. Um, I got these glasses to conceal that. This would come down over it. And that's the whole reason that I got these glasses. Now, these are my bed glasses, mostly. I, I just personally don't think there's anything you can buy over the counter that will take care of age spots. No, not like that. That was a monster. And I had bought, at the time, Lancome made a product called Dream Tones. Trophy Skin saw that video and they said, hey, how about we send you this? So I'm a big believer in this machine. And if you were gonna say, Mary, you can only have one Trophy Skin thing for the rest of your life, this is what it's going to be. This is what it's going to be as in microdermabrasion. They're probably not going to like me telling you this, but the handheld ones, they're not as strong. They don't have the suction power of this. Okay, so <laughs> if you've got some heavy duty work, this is what you want to do. The only people I wouldn't feel comfortable saying use this on are people who have a lot of slack skin. Okay, if you have a lot of slack wrinkled up skin, like, uh, maybe you don't want to do this. <laughs> but for everybody else trying to get rid of stuff and keeping in mind I'm not a dermatologist, esthetician, or anyone you should trust <laughs> to tell you what to do, <laughs> I would say, yeah, here, here it is. This is the best thing as far as I'm concerned. Until, and I hear you going, what? Uh, hold the trolley, what? There's something better? Maybe not, I don't know. It depends on what you want it for. But this is the thing that I've been so excited and couldn't wait to come tell you about. It's right down here, I can't wait to show you. All right, it's the new and improved. No, it's not a new and improved, it, it kinda is. It's this, Ultra Derm MD. So what is that? When they first asked me about this, I'm like, I already use Microderm MD. <laughs> Okay, it does two of the same things that the Microderm MD does. It does pores, which I told you already, I prefer the label over that system for that. But you could do clean out your pores with the Microderm MD. Also, another thing that the Microderm Abrasion MD machine does is clean out pores and push serums. I don't use that machine for anything but Microderm Abrasion. The other two things I get from the label. This machine does two things that the microdermabrasion thing does and the other thing I'd never heard of. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why would you make another machine? I mean, the microdermabrasion is excellent. Why would you do that? Okay, I'll tell you why. Look how little this box is. 
I'm gonna show it to you. This is my new favorite thing. Look how little this is. It fits right in your hand. And guess where it sits? On the vanity. This stays on the vanity where I can use my 10 by magnification mirror and use it. Because I've been test driving this for them, I have been using the pore extraction tool to do my pores, but I still prefer my LaBelle for that. I was skeptical. I thought, this is smaller than my microdermabrasion, so I kind of don't think it's going to work as good. Bull crap! <laughs> Look at this picture the first time that I used it. Now, if you go back and you look at my first video and I showed you the gross junk and I've not got that much stuff off my face since I first started using the microdermabrasion, so I was a little shocked at that. This is built totally different. This the cord wraps around it, okay? So, blah, it's here, it's compact. You open it up, it's got a mirror, and you can turn on the light. You turn this on to start it. In here are your little cleaning tools, your different heads. On this side, I keep all my little wool pads in there. And then, like I said, this mirror lights up. This mirror, you can actually see what you're doing in. It's a real mirror. The other one on the microdermabrasion, it's okay. The microdermabrasion one, I'm never going to pick that up and hold it while I do this. And truth be told, I don't with this one either because I do it at my vanity. But you could hold this thing. Now, you're probably wondering, <laughs> what is that? What this thing does that microdermabrasion doesn't do is what they call kinetic Toning. So there is a machine, a very popular machine they sell on QVC that does that kind of toning and they have fabulous results with it. And this does that. So you get microdermabrasion, kinetic toning, and pore extraction in this. Basically, it depends on what you want. If you want kinetic toning too, this is your go-to. If you want just microdermabrasion, that is your go-to. told you in the last video I stopped using my new face and this is why because I was doing these and I didn't want to do those with the new face because that's not fair. I can't tell you anything all right if I'm doing that. So this little thing right here this is my new baby. This is my favorite thing. This is the newest thing by Trophy Skin. I haven't used my microdermabrasions. What I mean is I have not used the microderm MD since I got this. It must drive Trophy Skin crazy that I always refer to the Microderm MD as Trophy Skin when that's the name of the company. And I also say Microdermabrasion when I'm talking about Microderm MD. Since I got this. What I'd like to do is just do a demo of how they work, how they're different, and if you would like to see that, then let me know. I'd like to remind you that you're the best part of the Fritzy family and how much I love you. I love you so much. And if you're not having a blessed day, just go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. Inspectress Gowan, what is this? I'm gonna do a spell. I got a spell on you. And now you're mine. <laughs> it's my evil plan to make you buy the stuff. No, it comes off like that though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, it'd be a good time to make sure that you guys understand the <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my lunch. It was sloppy chows with cheese on it. Here it is. <laughs> this company's never gonna send me anything again. <laughs> and then she took our box and made a pig nose. <laughs> we have gone over this before in case you guys don't know. <laughs> sorry! I'm so sorry! <laughs> oh, you're still there. <laughs> Take 437, red light therapy mask. <laughs> I don't have a bottom clapper board. <laughs> okay, no, no, don't drink while you're laughing. Ha ha.
Ha ha, you don't know what I'm doing, do you? Ha ha ha. Do 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 do. Booga booga booga. I fill this up with purified water. If you don't want to burp on camera, Mary, stop drinking carbonated beverages. Come on, focus on me. Why do you do this to me? I'm so aggravated at you. Really? Can you not find me? Hello? Oh, thank you. So good that you showed up for work today. I look how big my nose looks. What a snooze! <laughs>